This video will show you how to use the Website Translator module from PrestoChangeo.com. Before you can start translating, you need to have an additional language installed in PrestoShop. There are two ways to install a new language, from a language pack that exists on the PrestoShop site, or by going to the Tools tab, Languages link, and clicking on Add a new language. If a language pack exists for the language you want to use, you should download it from the PrestaShop site, since the quality of translations will be better. Go to PrestaShop.com, click on the Downloads link at the top, then Language Packs, select the language pack you want to use, and save it to your local computer. Now return to the Tools tab, click on Translation, and in the Import a Language Pack section, click the Browse button. Locate the language pack you've just downloaded, select it, and click Open. Now click the Import button. This will import the new language and you will see a new flag for it on your shop. Now go to the Modules tab and click Configure next to the Website Translator. Pick the source language. It should always be the default language you use in order to get the best translation quality. Now you're going to select the target language, for example, Italian, and click on Select Language Pair. This will open up a page where you can see all the sections that can be translated. You can see how many missing translations are found. A translation is considered missing if the source language and target language are the same, such as iPod, country names, and numbers. So it's perfectly fine to have some missing translations. For this demo, we'll check just a few sections, the category and the product. You will notice an overwrite existing translation column with checkboxes. If you are trying to translate sections that have been translated before and have been edited, you need to check the box in this column. If this is the first time that you are translating to this language, there is no need to check this box. For products, you also have the option of translating the product name and the friendly URL. Keep in mind that certain languages do not support friendly URLs very well, especially ones that do not use standard ASCII characters. In this case, we will check the product name as well. If there are many products that need to be translated, you may want to use the Translate in the Background button, since the browser will time out after 10 minutes. Because this example is a new shop with only seven products and four categories, we will use the regular Translate button. Click the Translate button and wait for the module to send the information to Google Translate and return the translations. Once the module is done, you will see a message saying Translations Generated. If you see a timeout error instead of Translations Generated, it means the PHP timeout settings on your server are set to a low number. You can contact your host and ask them to change those settings. Another option is to hit the reload button in the browser, which will just continue translating from where the translation stopped. If you're getting error 500 when translating front office or module sections, you must check the file permissions on the server. It usually means that the module is trying to create new language files, but does not have writing permissions for them on the server. You can go to the front end of the shop and reload the page. You will see the new language pack that was installed. Click on it, and you will see all the product information that was translated, including the categories. You can continue translating the rest of your shop now. Check all the sections at the top and hit Translate in the background. If you have multiple languages that you want to translate to and you're sure that your server doesn't have any timeout issues, go back to Translations Options. In the target language, choose All Languages and click on Select Language Pair. You will see there are no numbers for missing translations because it refers to all the languages. Select the sections that you want to translate and hit the Translate in the Background button. 
To stay current on future modules and updates, please follow us on Twitter or Facebook. The addresses are available on our website. Thank you for using PrestoChanger.com and enjoy your new module.